I think was the difference. Uh, Made a nice little comeback, but let them get out there too far again. Yeah, it's just one of those things. We got to get a, a better start. Um, you know, those last 15 minutes we played hard. We had some energy to us, but um, <clears throat> we need to find that for uh, more than just the last 15. Uh, we can't keep trying to come back into games. We need to get a lead um, and try and build from that. But we just we uh, weren't able to do that tonight. Yeah, I think it's all about just staying together and just staying, um, having a good start and not starting off flat. That just puts us in a hole. So just got to come out better and just make sure that we're keeping the energy as high as possible. Did you guys sense anything like, man, like in warmups, you feel flat, like energy wasn't quite there yet? Or what did it feel like for you? You know, I try not to put too much uh, thought into what I see in warmups because I've heard this from coach, you know, numerous times. You know, sometimes he's had practices the day before they've been great, come out and play horrible the next day, and, you know, vice versa, have bad practices and come out and play great. So I try not to put too much thought um, necessarily into what I see, you know, pregame and, and whatnot. But, um, I mean, maybe tonight was a sign, but when it came out, it was evident we were flat and we, we really weren't ready for the game. Man, is this pretty perplexing? I mean, this is a better team than this. I would agree with you. I absolutely would agree. Um, I don't know. We just we just seem like uh, you know one step forward, two steps back. Sometimes we had a good stretch on the road there, and we um, continued that into most of Youngstown. And towards the end, we just kind of lost it. And then we came in tonight with that same energy we had at the end of Youngstown. Um, I don't know. I, I wish that you know that didn't happen, um, but it did tonight. And I don't know how to. Um, yeah, it does, does perplex me. I will say that. Brandon, how tough is it to guard a team like that? I mean, they got like. Five or six three-point shooters. A lot of guys that can shoot it, uh, and that's admirable. You know, their team, uh, it's tough. Uh, makes a lot of teams tougher to guard. It, it limits our uh, opportunities for how we can guard things. We're kind of forced to guard things um, a certain way, and uh, we weren't able to uh, capitalize and execute on that tonight. I know you haven't seen all their riding league teams, but uh, is that one of the best ones you've seen? Um. They're, they're pretty good, and they get our respects. Um, try to come into each game with the same mindset. And, you know, I think we did a good job of giving them the respect. So just about how we started and how we played and just how we hear ourselves. You talk about your play. You seem like you're getting comfortable every game. Yeah, I just try to come in there and give some life, give some energy, to, and help the guys out. And just me alongside the guys come off the bench, do whatever we can just to continue to gel the team together and just try to steer in the right direction so well just as far as turning it around you got a game saturday what's it going to take to kind of get this thing going in the right direction for you guys i mean we just got to turn the page um we got to come in tomorrow with a, a good mindset and we've got ready to be uh attack practice and uh you know film and stuff like that this is a tough team coming in uh, milwaukee's a good team and uh, uh they got us earlier in the year and we got to try and uh come in tomorrow and have some energy to um, get them back on Saturday. we got to have a good game. And um, did, did it feel like you made that, you're down 17, you cut it to maybe six or seven in there. It felt like, okay, now here, it's happening now. Here comes the comeback. Yeah, did we, it feel like that to you? Yeah, we definitely felt like we got our rhythm back and we were in the midst of things. So um, we were definitely moving in the right direction. I thought we were all, had a good mindset with each other. So, you know, just couldn't quite get there, but I think we were doing a good job. Well, I thought, uh, you know, for, for whatever reason, man, we were extremely flat in the first half emotionally. And, you know, you look for explanations and, you know, there's no reason to really look for one because you're not going to be able to say what it was. You know, coming back home and playing a team that had beaten us, you think we would have been uh, just better emotionally. We weren't. I, I was proud of, of, you know, the guys not quitting because it didn't look very good. Thought our bench gave us a nice lift in the second half. Uh, they shot, you know, they shot the ball extremely well. They really did. And you know, you try to uh, such a good guard in, in Reynolds, and you know, we didn't we didn't get either one of them taken away in terms of, of either get, getting him taken away or getting their threes taken away. Um, you know, when you shoot it like that, it's going to be hard to beat them. We're just not, you know, we're just not. And it's, it's been the same thing all year. We're just not good enough defensively. And, you know, we can shoot the ball well, five for 20 from three. And uh, uh, score a lot of points in the second half, but we still gave up way too many to, to win the game. You know, 52, we gave up 49. 
um, you know, I think you, you got to give you got to give uh, Green Bay a lot of credit. They played well. Scott, you've been coaching a long time. Is this one of your more perplexing seasons or something? It seems like this is a better team than this. Yeah, I, I think the players know it and the coaches know it. Yeah, um, but it's you know it just comes down to defense. It, it just does. I mean, the, I can't tell what the rebounds were. Where did they end up? I can't Even. see. Even. Yeah, they were whipping us in the first half. Mm -hmm. You know, we felt like, uh, you know, they were the more physical team the first game we played. The first half, they were more physical. We, you know, we, we finally started playing in the second half, but we put ourselves behind the eight ball. And uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a, it's perplexing because you know we have talent, but but it's it's offensive talent. You know, we, we need some defense. You know, we need, uh, you know, it was probably the biggest concern I had coming into the year was just, you know, how, how tough are we going to be? And, and when I say tough, I don't necessarily mean physical, but I also mean, you know, when things don't go well, you know, will we be able to to fight through that and sustain? And I think that's what this team struggles with, maybe more than anything, probably because their expectations aren't being met. And, uh, you know, Probably my expectations aren't, and they can sense it too. So I'm, I'm probably not helping things. Scott uh, Carter started to look better and better every game for you. Yeah, he played. You know, I thought our bench, particularly in the second half, was good. He was good. KK really helped us today. Uh, uh, you know, Logan and uh, Andrew off the bench. You know, we went with those guys. Uh, you know, early in the second half because we just didn't have any juice at all. And, and those guys really picked things up for us and helped us kind of get back in the game. So I was pleased with that. And, I, you know, I was pleased that our guys didn't quit. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, it's, it, it is perplexing that, that we would be so flat. How tough is this guy? And I know you're not the player, but how tough is it that, that for, a team, for your team to guard a team like that? Because like they got five or six three-point shooters. Well, they're, they've been hard for everybody to guard. It's not just our team. You know, the offensively they're the second best team in the league and and uh, you know they have one great great guard and they they surround him with a bunch of heady players that are good shooters and and uh sundance has done a great job coaching them and speaking of that that team only won three games last year and they were already won what i think 13 or something like that i mean have you ever seen a turnaround like that in the league oh i i, I don't know i mean i've coached a lot and so but you know, basketball takes honestly. It takes one guy that, that can change things. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not saying he's. He, I'm not saying Reynolds is the only one that's changed that because they've, they've got some other good players. But uh, you know, uh, basketball is is a sport where one or two players can make an incredible difference. Mm -hmm. Scott, the second half there when you guys were doing the, the, the pressing and the trapping, it seemed like they your guys did flip the switch kind of defensively. I guess how, how does that sustain though? Well, I mean, we just had to, you know, normally we, we have more energy. We, we just had to change our energy, and that's that's what we went to was was just a, a you know, a, a little bit of a trap just to get our guys, get the blood flowing and, and you know, having a different mindset. And we had to get them out of their rhythm, too. Scott, you got one guy that galvanizes that dressing room for you, a player. I mean, like, you got a couple of veteran guys, but uh, just one guy that, it, the same thing you. It's a little bit of a battle, but I would say, you know, probably Alex is that guy for us. He's got you down 17 at one point, made a nice push, got it to five or six. Did it feel like, okay, here it comes, finally? Um, I think we got it to four. You know, I thought, yeah, I mean, yeah, I believe yeah. we were going to do it. And I think the players did too. They, you know, they just, they shot the ball so well. And then they hit, you know, when... We, we got back in it and made some runs. I mean, they throw it to the corner off a break and hit a three and, uh, you know, a step back <clears throat> shot with his foot on the line. I mean, they just, they hit time and shots. They, yeah. And there isn't, you know, and some of it's good defense and they just made the shots. You guys good? Yeah. Flip it to Forrest guy with Milwaukee. I mean, it's no picnic either. No. No, I mean, they whipped us too. So yeah. uh, that's why I say it'll be a test of our character for sure. Uh, coming back Saturday, you know, emotionally, can we can we bounce back from this? Um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting.
I also kind of thought you played those freshmen a lot of minutes, even in the first half, just looking for somebody with some energy and yeah, yeah. Just, we just need we need a little bit of juice. 